Ever wondered how computers work? They're more than just boxes with flashing lights. At their core, computers are intricate systems comprised of several key components. First off, we have the monitor. It's like the canvas where all the digital magic unfolds, displaying everything from vibrant images to captivating videos. Then there's the keyboard, your main tool for interacting with this machine. Whether you're typing out an email or coding the next big software, the keyboard is your trusty sidekick. And let's not forget about the mouse, a small yet mighty device that lets you navigate the digital landscape with a simple point and click. But what's a computer without sound? That's where speakers come in, transforming electrical signals into audio, be it the latest pop hit or the ding of a new message. These components, however, are just the tip of the iceberg. They form the outer shell of the computer, the part we interact with. But these are just the external parts of a computer. The real magic happens inside. The computer tower is where all the processing takes place. It's like a bustling city, with each component playing a vital role. At the heart of this city is the CPU, the central processing unit. This is the brain of the computer, performing billions of calculations per second. Next up, we've got the RAM, or random access memory. Think of it as the city's short-term memory, storing data that's currently in use. This helps your computer run smoothly and efficiently. Then there's the hard drive. It's your computer's long-term memory, storing all your files, photos, and programs. The motherboard is the city's nervous system, connecting everything together. It's where all the components communicate and interact. For the dazzling city lights, we have the graphics card. It's responsible for rendering images and videos, bringing your games and movies to life. And of course, all this power needs a power supply to keep things running. Now that we've seen the hardware, it's time to talk about the software. Software is what brings a computer to life. It's the unseen conductor orchestrating a symphony of hardware components. Software encompasses everything from the operating system that manages all the hardware and software in your computer, to the applications that allow you to create documents, browse the internet, or even play games. Consider the operating system as the computer's backbone. It's the big boss that directs traffic, ensuring that your hardware and software play nicely together. Whether it's Windows, MacOS, or Linux, the operating system is the first piece of software that the computer loads during startup and it's always running in the background. Then, there are the applications, the tools you use on a daily basis. These are the programs that allow you to write an essay, design a graphic, or even defeat a horde of zombies in a virtual world. They interact with the operating system, which in turn communicates with the hardware to get their jobs done. Software is the heart of the computer, making all this hardware work together seamlessly. So, how does a computer work? Well, let's recap what we've learned so far. The computer's hardware, like the CPU, RAM, hard drive, and graphics card, all play their own unique roles. The CPU, essentially the brain of the operation, performs billions of calculations per second. RAM keeps everything running smoothly by storing data currently in use. The hard drive acts as the computer's long-term memory, storing all your files, photos, and programs. And the graphics card renders all the stunning visuals you see on your screen. Yet all this hardware wouldn't be of much use without software. Software, which includes the operating system and all the programs you use, is what brings the hardware to life. It's like the director of a play, telling the actors, in this case the hardware, what to do. And that, in a nutshell, is how computers work. They combine hardware and software to perform millions of tasks, making our lives easier every day.